Yeah, I would say I'm decently lean as an engineer, entrepreneur. Welcome to everything I eat in a day to stay pretty lean while working a job that isn't really active. None of my jobs are active. So if you're new to the channel here, I make things all about fitness, business, motivation. I'm a mechanical engineer and entrepreneur currently working, trying to grow this YouTube channel as well. So enjoy the video. Good morning, guys. Full day of eating to stay shredded. We know it's not even summer anymore from the weather. We are about to head to the office now. Um, actually going to pick up some donuts for a client and I will pick up a donut for myself most likely. But we're staying shredded. Weighed in at 172 this morning. I wanna lose like two more pounds. My goal is to stay at 170 shredded year round. But I never limit my intake of the type of food we're eating. I usually fast, so welcome to the full day of eating of staying fasted and intermittent shredding, I guess. I just made a video that I'm gonna be releasing either before or after this, but had a productive morning this morning. Q4 is ending, so really trying to take care of the mind, the body, the spirit until 2025. Work hard and control the controllables. I sometimes rant about my stocks or crypto going down, but those are uncontrollable things. So as long as I'm making money and putting it into an investment vehicle like that, I should be good. So we're gonna drive now. Shout out to Hermosi. So first stop of today is good old Tim Hortons. I, like again, I'll probably get the Nutella, whatever it is. Nutella collaboration Tim's got, but summer's over. I'm wearing like the quarter zip. It was cold today, it's only like nine and a half degrees. You guys see my Whoop Band review. We're still rocking it during the free trial. Um, but yeah, we'll probably do that. Then we have lunch with Alan, talk about the agency, talk about how we can improve for the last quarter. I know it's not Q4 yet, it's end of Q3. So we'll see what we can do to clean it up. Q3 was, honestly, it was busy. We got so many clients and then last month we lost like 50% of, of our client base, which sucks. And that's the nature of an agency business. Uh, honestly, we did good work for the clients, got a testimonial from all of them, but it still sucks. It is what it is. So we're gonna get ordered now. I guess the biggest thing is, learning lesson is with this space, yes, you can have clients on retainers, but once that retainer's up, they might, it's again, seasons um, of business. They might not need you anymore. Hi, uh, yeah, could I order a large black coffee? And then, sure. could I get the Nutella donut? Okay. And then could I also get the dozen assorted donuts? A box of dozen assorted donuts, please? Okay, anything else? Um, okay, no, that's okay then, that's all. I'm so tempted by all this fast food. But we have to stick with the black coffee today because I will have that sugar later. Sheesh, Tim's really, really be hooking me up like that. I will eat this later, oh my days. And then we got black coffee. So again, you wanna stay shredded, you wanna work a lot, like, I'm not kidding. I wouldn't say I work out like four hours a day or even two hours. My actual workout, um, probably an hour and a half a day. But it's it's about changing your habits. I think that's the biggest thing with fitness as I get older. It's not about going hard and, and sticking to a routine. Of course you're gonna have to do that to accomplish things. If you're in a bodybuilding competition, you're gonna have to go hard for six months. But if you don't wanna rebound hard after and gain all that weight back, you really have to change your habits 
change your behavior, change your character. Those are really the driving factors of anything sustainable. Even with work, I find when I go into a monk mode, there are habits that come out of it that, that last, that help me propel. Because with the work I do, sales and, and entrepreneurship and, and overall how I make money, I, I, I need to dive into so many different investments, whether that's stocks, crypto, buying into private uh, shares and small shares of, of businesses. It's like, you never know when things are consistent and going or when things are not consistent. And that's when those habits really kick in. So we're gonna go see a client later. I got a meeting now and yeah. Oh my gosh, okay, we're about to see this client. Probably close, and close him too, but. Oh man, a lot of sweets today. So caramel popcorn with that Nutella donut. I'm definitely not going to break my fast with this, but it's just, um, what I'm gonna eat later. I always, like I'm not gonna lie, I never skip dessert. I gotta work it in somehow. This is again, back to, instead of restricting yourself super hard and rebounding, as most people do, you want to um, have healthy habits that are actually realistic to live and stay by. That's how I feel like just being natural. I'm not the biggest guy, but I'm fairly lean year round. Last winter, I got, I got, I guess, the biggest I was because I purposely bulked. But if you actually just want to be lean, you can easily do it. Just fast, you know, stay active and stay having the habits that you can stick to. So yeah, those popcorn donuts, it's all for later. It's currently 11.24, I'm still fasting. We're about to see this client hopefully close this deal. That's worth about $20,000. We'll see, I need to close more. Um, I need to close about like 400K this in the next four months here. So, a lot of work, a lot of stress. The stress is good and we're staying shredded. Right, so I feel like if you have one thing dialed in, like your fitness, you usually have work dialed in as well. You usually then have that roll over into relationships. So it's always just good to keep, as a man, I believe, keep dialed in with like your work, your fitness, your relationships with people. That's how you're gonna build such a well-rounded life that People from the outside look like, hey man, this guy's so busy, whatever, but you know that's fulfilling and you know it's meaningful. All right, again, the biggest thing too with the, uh, with the fasting, and it's not just the benefits of having a good physique, losing weight, staying lean, it keeps you sharp. Like when you eat, I always make the analogy of a bowl of pasta. If you eat a bowl of pasta, you're gonna go to bed the next day hour after you eat that pasta. How can you be a higher performer, be really mentally clear and sharp when you're eating so many calories first thing when you wake up? I like to do two cups of water and then just sip on black coffee till about 12 or noon. So again, I got these sweets. They're gonna be a reward to incentivize me to work hard in the gym, outside the gym, but it's gonna be a reward later. We're probably gonna break the fast with some veggies at lunch with my business partner, Alan. So, parking, we're about to walk. Another thing about habits, eating is one thing, but try and get your steps and get 10K a day. I preached that in multiple videos, but definitely get your steps in and we're about to go break the fast with you. Shit, say what's up to the daily, what's up daily vlog? What is that? Chilies. It's not quail eggs, is it? No, 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 bro. Shit, I was telling the viewers we're gonna eat some uh, vegan. <laughs> but now we're eating. Yeah, because we're at 10 foot energy, so I'll have vegetables. Shit, bro. Damn. Actually, looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. Boy. It's like fresh. Yeah, very good. Oh my days. So, oh, 
absolutely, absolutely destroyed my diet right there, but it is what it is. Literally just blew like up my calories with Alan. Talked good about business, talked about how we're both busy because again, he's also still selling real estate while I'm selling commercial equipment and it's like, you don't have a lot of time. Everyone has the same 24 hours a day. So we talked about, okay, how are we gonna outsource the fulfillment for some of these clients so that we can focus on high, high, I guess high impact task. So yeah, we ate it quite a bit. I'm probably going to go work out now and then I'll do more work because I'm closing this project in two days here. Hopefully I close it with a big dollar value, so yeah. So batch 27, about to go hit a lift with some turkestrone. I'm gonna try this for six months or so. We'll see if it's actually any good. Damn, I'm actually looking not too bad. Natural. No one knows this in the corporate attire. No one knows how jacked I am. Sheesh. <laughs> So, I think one of the goals for 2025 as I get older, I'm going to stop the pre-workout in terms of like stuff like this. I'll probably do a naked nutrition. This is the full day in the life of eating. I keep saying that. I'm reminding myself of the goal of this video. Ate a heavy, heavy lunch, which is abnormal, but not bad either because I honestly didn't feel too tired. Just got right to work still again. I find that having a standing table or standing desk while you do computer work definitely doesn't make you as lethargic as you would if you're sitting and melting away in a chair. I think I've read different studies, but having the largest meal in the middle of the day way before you go to bed is actually really good for you. So maybe we'll do this, I don't know. I just try and always limit the carb intake, but today was carb heavy. It was it was actually a monstrosity. But hey, this is how I stay shredded. I literally will hit the gym for an hour and a half, hour 15 probably today. Cardio, strength resistance, hitting a back day, weighted pull-ups with a deadlift. So let's take this. Yeah, this can't be good for you. I'm not gonna lie, I cannot eat that right now. Oh, I'm way too full. I don't know, I just, I feel like I'm not really a big eater no more. Like, I thought I'd have the cravings, but comment below how many calories you guys think I ate at lunch with Alan. So we didn't actually record the workout, but shirt is drenched, Jesus, hit a good hour 22 minutes of a pull day, that includes the kickboxing warm up. So yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy workout. Great workout, like I said, really quick. I didn't even record it because I was just dialed in. I have to go fix my car. That donut is looking real good, same with the popcorn now. I will probably kill the Nutella on the donut. A little bit disappointed by Tim Hortons. It's probably 300 calories. It's, all, it's literally just Nutella in the center. That's a terrible product by Tim Hortons. Absolute garbage. That's a premium donut. I'm gonna eat rice, broccoli, and this beef for dinner. All right, I was actually so hungry, so to end of the night, I had about 200 grams of steak. This is the fat. 
more steak. I had two cups of fried rice and then some potatoes. So it's gonna end my night. That's kind of everything I ate to stay decently lean. I was hungry. Like this plate was probably a lot bigger. I would say 1500 calories. So I don't know how many calories I ate today. I didn't use my fitness pal, but into a eat till like you're 80 to 90% full and drink a lot of water while you eat because sometimes you're not even hungry. And once you drink that water, you're gonna be less hungry. You're gonna be more full, more satiated. So I'm gonna end this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, subscribe, and we'll always do these kind of day in the life of eating. I don't think I'm gonna do a hard bulk anymore. So we're gonna stay shredded as we make money and grow the business, grow my career and grow this channel. See you guys.